Well, I'm joined now by a Conservative MP, Chris Philp, to talk about this, and Chris is also an aide to uh, Treasury Ministers. Why don't you just give businesses the certainty they want, make a unilateral decision and say, we're going to go on to WTO rules, World Trade Organization rules? Well, that isn't what business is asking for. Business is asking for a transition deal. And since about February this year, the government's policy has been to secure exactly that kind of transition deal. And in fact, in the Florence speech just a few weeks ago, the Prime Minister said again that a transition deal for two years is exactly what the government is asking for. So what the CBI are requesting is government policy, but of course it takes two to tango. And we need the European Commission, the European Union, to agree to that. It was disappointing that they didn't agree to it in the uh, round last week. I hope they will next December, because, of course, we have made huge progress on the, uh, the so-called uh, divorce bill talks. We've been going through it line by line. We've been clear nobody will lose out as a result of us leaving. We've been clear that during that transition period, um, budget contributions are on the table. We're going to settle our bills. So there is no reason at all why the European Commission and the European Union can't agree to that transition deal, which will help their businesses and ours, and is what the UK government is seeking. Yes, this is exactly what Theresa May has been calling for to some extent, i.e. a two-year or around two-year transition deal. Obviously, uh, the CBI and others want it to be as close as possible to the existing uh, trading arrangements. But if the government accepts that this is what we want, do you then accept that uh, the urgency that businesses are talking about and the fact that it might be getting too late for them? Well, look, I mean, Angela Merkel herself said last week that there will be a deal, so I don't think anyone needs to panic. Uh, you know, if Angela Merkel says uh, she wants a deal, I'm pretty sure a deal will happen. And let's not forget, it serves the interests of the Europeans as much as us to make sure our exit happens in an orderly fashion. We are, after all, the largest export market for German cars, 810,000 cars a year, the second largest export market for French wine. So it's in everybody's interest to make this happen. I think the delay is on the European side, so I hope in December, they behave reasonably and move these talks forward. Now, of course, in the background, we do have to prepare for a no-deal scenario, uh, prepare actively, and we are doing that, but it's not the outcome we want, and I don't think it's the outcome that the European Union wants either. Chris Felt, thank you very much.